My name's Evan Upton. Uh, I'm one of the founders of Raspberry Pi. Uh, since we launched Raspberry Pi in uh, February of 2012, we've sold about 3 million of these. This is a Raspberry Pi Model B. Now, along the way, there have been a few changes. In October of 2012, we were able to double the RAM on the device from 256 meg to 512 meg. And we also introduced a thing that we call the Rev2 board, and that's what this is. Uh, and that has some uh, minor improvements over that first Rev1 board that we, uh, that we went out with. Now, we've always talked about wanting to do one more revision of the Raspberry Pi hardware to accommodate some of the requests that we've had from uh, customers. And I'm extremely chuffed that today uh, we have this. Uh, we're able to announce this. This is what we're going to call the Raspberry Pi Model B+. Now, if you look at them alongside each other, you'll see they're fairly similar looking pieces of equipment. Um, but there are a few changes that I'd like to take you through. I guess the most obvious of those is if you look at this side, we've been able to add two more USB ports to the device. Now, we noticed a lot of people were using external hubs in order to plug uh, a mouse and a keyboard, a Wi-Fi dongle, and a mass storage device, say, into a Raspberry Pi. And so by adding these, we're, gonna, we're hopefully going to cut down on the number of people who need to add an external piece of hardware to use the Raspberry Pi. Over at the other edge of the board, not much to look at here. This is the power input circuitry, but by improving this, we've been able to take 20 to 30% out of the power consumption in the Raspberry Pi. That's between half a watt and a watt. And that means that if you're running this off a of battery, your battery is going to last longer. Um, it means you've got more power to feed through to any USB devices that you have on this side of the board. Now, down here, we have the audio output jack. We've done a couple of things. One, We've got rid of the uh, bulky RCA composite jack that we had on the previous device. We've moved the composite signal onto a fourth pole of this connector. And we've made improvements both to the audio output circuitry and to uh, some elements of the uh, firmware in the device in order to significantly improve our analog audio quality. Up here, we have the uh, uh, GPIO connector. Now, this has grown on the Model B Plus from a 26-pin connector on the Model B to a 40-pin connector. And we've been able to keep the uh, first 26 pins of that uh, connector identical in their pinout uh, to the connector on the, uh, on the Model B. So all of those expansion boards are going to continue to work. The final change, just general improvements to the form factor. Uh, we've been able to bring the USB connectors now flush up against the edge of the board. We've moved from a uh, conventional SD card to a micro SD card. And then we have these four nice squarely mounted mounting holes. Uh, so we think this is going to this is going to be much more physically robust and compact inside your project. Um, all of this, I'm really pleased to say we're going to be able to do this at the same price that we, uh, we did the Model B Plus for. So this is going to be a $35 product just like the Model B. Um, and finally, we're going to be able to keep the Model B available. So we know a lot of you have designed Model Bs into pieces of industrial equipment. We don't want to orphan you. And we're going to keep the Model B available in the market at $35 for as long as there's demand for it. So the Model B Plus is a fantastic piece of news for us. Really, really pleased to have it out there in the market. Really, really looking forward to seeing what you guys all do with it. Thank you.